All right, so we got some uh, dessert here. We finally made a visit down to the main area near White Beach uh, in Station 2. This place called Halo Mango. It's hot, so we're just gonna get some like dessert. Mango. Yeah, look at this beautiful. It's like ice cream, fresh mangoes. It's 120 pesos. Look at it. It's so cold, but it's melting fast too. It's really hot out today. Very mangoey. <laughs> <laughs> I expect everything here to be super mangoey. Uh, we still got a calamansi juice coming. The mango itself is a little sour though. Oh, is it? Yeah, the fresh mango. This one is, I don't think it's pure mango. It's just a hint of the mango taste. Mm. Uh, but the mango itself is a little sour, which is good. It balances the sweetness and with the sourness. Anyway, you wanna try it, babe? Yep. Mmm, mm, it's good. good it's not so over like overly sweet, so it's good. I like it. It'd be perfect to go with our calamansi juice. So we're gonna eat this, and then probably our drink will come later. We got our calamansi juice. This took longer than uh, all the other ones to make because I think the other one is all like um, uh, the, it's one station that they just literally just scoop ice cream and mango on top and then that's it. This one they actually have to make it. It's like a shake. Oh, sour? It has a nice sourness. <laughs> that's gonna go really good with your mango. Oh, <laughs> it's sour. Oh, it tastes like sour. Yeah, calamansi juice. <laughs> But it has a slight bitter mm. taste. I think the skin or something is in it. So yeah, some, I think some of the uh, some of the uh, the rind is in there. Mm. Mm. This is not bad. Mm. I don't know why I need that. <laughs> I like the sourness. So we're gonna finish our drinks, or at least walk down here and finish our drinks, and uh, we'll see what else we can find. More bubble tea. More bubble tea. You never go a day without bubble tea here, or anywhere. No, we didn't have bubble tea yesterday. But every city and every country we've been in, we've had bubble tea. We moved to another place to eat. <laughs> yeah, we went and got bubble tea just to tie us over. Still and, have some left. Um, now we're moving to lunch. And we, uh, it's got kind of raining right now. So we ducked into this little place called the Spice Bird. Um, they make like Portuguese chicken. So we got some, well, just like Portuguese food. So there's a bunch of peri peri sauce on pretty much everything. So we got some pork, some chicken, and some wings. Thank you. We wanted the chicken skin, but uh, the chicken skin is out, so uh, we won't get a chance to try that today. So, thank you. Thank you. We'll wait and see the food comes. Let's see how good it is. This is our chicken wings and peri peri sauce. Okay, so our first dish has arrived. We got the beautiful chicken wings here. Look at that. Well, the way they do it, the wings here, it's like they, they leave all the parts around it. It's not like they pick all the each joint. It's usually like a whole sections. <coughs> Thank you. This one. Thank you. Oh man, that's a big piece of. Uh, let me look this up so you can see. A big piece of uh, belly. Duck belly. And this is the Swan's chicken. I don't know if you can see it. It's okay. Here, here, I do this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, it's oh, part of the apartment. Oh. Giant piece of pork belly. It's really soft. It's like falling apart. And here's a whole chicken breast. And there's also like rice and potato chips and veggies and the bun on there. This is the uh, Spanish rice, I believe. Oh, mm. yeah, very flavorful. It's good. Mm. It's got, um, oh yeah. It has spice, but mm -hmm. it's not salty. There's a spice. Not uh, overly seasoned. Yeah. Nice little chips. It's not, it's not potato. It's, um, mm. This is pork belly. No, it's just banana. Could be 
Sauces here, there's curry curry sauce, hot bird sauce, garlic and lime sauce, and curry curry sauce. Mm. I don't think they put a lot of sauce onto the actual meat itself. You're yeah, just supposed to add the sauce. But the food is not that done. Mm. Yeah. Let's try the chicken. This is your this is the hot, hot, bird sauce. hot bird sauce. This is very <laughs> special house sauce. Do you try it? It has a little bit of kick. It's not super. It might be spicy for you, but it has a nice, nice, decent kick. Um, the chicken, a little on the dry side for my liking, because it's fresh. I'm not a big fan of white meat. Not a lot of people do fresh meat meat well. So, yeah. Typical. Uh, Swan still has not mastered the pork and spoon. <laughs> For me or for you? Just for you. Yeah, I'm surprised that the food it does not have a lot of salt uh, flavoring to it. Mm. I'd rather it put more in it and then just dip hot sauce if we need to. That pork belly just literally melts in your mouth. And it's so soft. Um, yeah, like Swan said, not a lot of salt, but it's okay. The uh, flavor is nice. The so hot sauce is one picking up a little bit now. I think it's kind of accumulating. So it does, it's really nice and it goes really good with the, the rice. It's like soft and fragrant. Mm. Mm. The chicken wing has more flavor. Good. Yeah. It's like a sour taste. It's slightly, not, I wouldn't call it spicy, but there's a little bit mm. of spice. That's just the straight peri peri chicken wing. Yeah. yeah. yeah it has more just flavor. a very slight heat. Yeah, yeah, more flavor than, uh, than uh, spice. It's very nice. The, uh, the salad is simple, just vinegar, just citrus. They cut really well, especially with the, the fat of the pork belly. Mm. It's good. I like it. Yeah, I need to mix my sauce and dip these things in. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead with our lunch and uh, we'll report back to you at the end once we finish everything. So full again. Oh man, we're done. <laughs> Great. Yeah, that was way too much food. But uh, we ate most of it. I gotta say, the, the food is not bad, especially for where we are in Boracay. Um, curious, curious, curious sauce is pretty good. Not as good as like some of the important places we have in Toronto, like a Mando's or a Brasa mm -hmm. in Milton. Um, <clears throat> it's not the best Portuguese chicken with the salad. I thought it was horrible. Um, but yeah, it was pretty good. The spice is pretty decent. A little bit more expensive uh, than typical Filipino places. Well, yeah, because we're in the tourist area. But we are in like the center of the food. This tourist district here in, in um, Morakai at the White Beach. So it is a bit more pricey, but and that, I think the food is fantastic. The, uh, the pork was good. Um, a little fatty. A little salty. I had to throw away a big piece of pork fat. You know how much. I know, pork. and he always eats fat. You know how much pork fat and I are friends. So for me to leave that, that's a bit much. Because it was just, it was just, just too much. It's just, uh, I like my fat a bit more rendered, a bit softer, more, more flavor for the fat, and then just feels fat. This fat, fat feels like it's like one of those friends that sort of left the circle and kind of changed a lot, and then we don't know them anymore. Yeah, you know that guy. <laughs> so uh, overall, good spot. Spice bird, nice, nice spot for a uh, bite here in Boracay. Um, chips is a bit too much. This, this is really good, but I'm just really full right now. So they gave us two bites. <laughs> I didn't touch it. She, took, a she took one bite just to make it look like she ate something. But yeah, we ate everything else. All the meat's gone, all the rice, the salad, everything's gone. Uh, so great, great place. So we're gonna go home and go into a coma <laughs> and relax for a bit. I don't know, maybe swim around in the pool. Yeah, we'll, we'll see, because our bodies are completely so burnt. so burnt that we can't the beach. We can't take, yeah, it's, the sun is really, really hot today. And uh, the rain that like, comes and goes, it just fits here and there for a little bit, and then it's gone. It's never long. Um, yeah, so we'll see how we feel today for about hot pot.
Okay. So we are doing <laughs> or get on dinner. trying to redeem the sad hot pot we had yesterday. That's pretty sad. So today we're gonna make awesome instant noodles. It's actually pretty awesome. We bought um, the uh, spicy noodle that we're used to. We took the seasoning of that and used the noodle. When we went to that uh, Portuguese chicken place, we asked for some peri peri sauce and some hot sauce. So we combined all of that into the broth from yesterday. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You've been away from Vietnam too long. You don't know how to squat anymore. <laughs> squat. And we threw in most of all the leftover veggie. No, um, only half. There's still half left. Holy crap, really? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So here are our two bowls. I don't know why my bowl looks more full than Huang's. Yeah, because my bowl's huge. I'm not sure. But I tried this. The, the broth earlier, it was super spicy. It's way too spicy for me, but hopefully with all the veggies and meat and noodles added, it'll be less spicy. Oh my gosh, it's so much more flavor from <laughs> yesterday's <laughs> pathetic hot pot. It's actually very good. But oh. I'm stuck with eating these sweet chicken lagunisa. There's just so much meat in here. I don't mind the veggies. But anyways, mm. instant noodle always saves the day. It's so good. Especially when instant noodle is not so instant. And look how done up it is. There's so much veggies in here. There's squash. Okra. <laughs> yeah, okra. Kang Kong or water spinach. We got the uh, cabbage. There's onions. Longanisa. Bacon. Bacon, I know. That's the last of all our meats. meats. Do we still have veggies? We still have lots of veggies. And we bought extra instant noodles, so it's probably going to be another instant noodle meal sometime tomorrow. Before we leave. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or in the morning of uh, the 11th. For breakfast? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this actually redeemed yesterday's pathetic hot pot, so I'm actually very happy with it. <laughs> mm. I can't wait to eat this. Here, baby, you eat. <laughs> 